this is part two for the video tutorial of how to build and acquire a component library for SketchUp. For chapter three of the book, Google SketchUp for Site Design by Daniel Tal. For this tutorial, we're going to explore 3D Warehouse and form fonts. And we've mentioned 3D Warehouse in the previous video tutorial and where Google SketchUp has placed a lot of components. Well, in fact, there's more than just a lot of components on 3D Warehouse. So I'm at the Google search engine and I typed in 3D Warehouse and I have my result. So I'm going to click on 3D Warehouse and it brings you to this page. 3D Warehouse simply contains thousands upon thousands of free SketchUp models that you can download and use for your models and for whatever other needs that you have within SketchUp. In fact, for the book Google SketchUp for Site Design, I've actually uploaded several models that are supplementals to the tutorials. So when you're using the book, you can actually come to 3D Warehouse, and the book provides particular search terms for those models, or in this case, you can simply type the author's name, Daniel Tal, and you can see that there are a variety of models that can be uploaded for use with the book, and they correspond with the chapter, chapter 8 or chapter 18, whatever various chapters that are called for in using a model. Whatever it is that you want to look for, you could probably find on 3D Warehouse in terms of modeling needs. So if I want to build my tree component library for SketchUp, I'll type in tree, and I will get a variety of different trees to choose from, and you can see how many result pages there are that keep on going. And there's two ways to search for models at Google 3D Warehouse. There's models and there's collections. Models will look for an individual model type. Collections are groups of models, not necessarily related to each other, so they could be a tree and a bench and a car, that are composed and created and uploaded by either individuals, in some cases some companies. So for example, I'm going to select collections, and I'm going to type in landscape forms which is a company that creates site amenities and furnitures. And I will get a variety of results for landscape forms. And you can see how many models it says are under some of these collections. And there's a variety of different collections here. I'll select landscape forms. And I can scroll down. And you can see that there's a variety of different models and product descriptions, actually, for each one of those. In fact, it seems like in 3D Warehouse, the list of the type of models you can actually find is endless. I can even type in the word human brain, and I can find models of the human brain and various anatomical models for humans. So whatever it is that you want to look for, you could probably find on 3D Warehouse. Now, 3D Warehouse is also compatible and usable within SketchUp, which we already showed in the previous part one of this video, but I will demonstrate the various forms you can access 3D Warehouse from SketchUp. So there's a couple of ways to access 3D Warehouse from SketchUp. In the previous part one of this video tutorial of building your component library, I actually demonstrated how to go to Window, Components, and actually use the navigation button here I'm going to select Landscape, and you can see that it automatically is accessing Google 3D Warehouse, in which I can download any one of these models and model collections into my component library folders or directly into my model. So that's one way of accessing 3D Warehouse from Google SketchUp. I'm going to show you another one. So if you go to File, you can see that there's a 3D Warehouse selection, and you have two options here. You have Get Model or Share Model. I'm going to select Get Models, and you can see that it opened up a browser within SketchUp itself, and I will type in the search term tree, and you can see that it's given me a variety of options for trees that I can download, and what I'll end up doing is I'm going to actually select one of these trees, and it gives me some information, and I'm going to collect, select Download Model, and I'll be asked if this is okay to directly load it into my SketchUp model. I'm going to hit yes. And it'll begin to download it, and it will place it directly into my model. Now the other option was if there's models that you want to share for 3D Warehouse, 
you can go to File, 3D Warehouse, and select Share Model. And you do need a Gmail or Google account to do this. And then you can upload your model and it's available for the public to use. The last place I want to review where you can get SketchUp models is at a location called formfonts.com www.formfonts.com If you're a serious SketchUp modeler or a professional, this is probably the best place for you to download models from. It is a subscription site and the subscription fee is very nominal, but you can download high quality reusable components that are not available anywhere else. To do a quick search, I'll just simply type in the word people. And Form Fonts has 671 results for a variety of different types of people that you can use. And this includes trees, and shrubs, and just about any kind of object that you wish to use in a model. Not to take away from 3D Warehouse, where there's a lot of high quality models, but consistently Form Fonts has some of the cleanest most usable models that you can use and many of the models that I use within the book or for my professional practice I use models that I have acquired from form fonts in one form or another so if you really are serious about wanting to come and start building a component library for yourself I highly recommend that you use form fonts and 3D warehouse in tandem